Hello everyone, this is your girl Didum aka Sunshine coming at you with another powerful energy clearing session today. Now this one we are going to feel a little bit of intense energy as we are going to be focusing on the vibrational energy of rage. Now rage is a very powerful emotion stemming from a really deep seated anger and maybe even frustration often triggered by perceived threats or even any injustices we may have experienced. So while we are working on this, I want you to really make sure that you are focusing on any sensations, any emotions, or any thoughts that arise in the body. It's going to be really important for you to maybe take a look at those and reflect on those maybe after the clearing. So let's begin. Now before we begin, I want you to find a comfortable position whether that's sitting or lying down. Now take a moment to center yourself with a few deep breaths. Inhale deeply, holding the breath for a moment, and then exhale slowly. As you continue to breathe, bring your awareness to your body, from the crown of your head to the tips of your toes. Notice any sensations, thoughts, or emotions that arise but let them pass without attachment. Just simply observe them for now. With each breath, affirm your intention to fully embrace this clearing process. This clearing will permeate every aspect of your being, aiming for the most benevolent outcome for all involved while minimizing resistance. So continue to breathe deeply and surrender to the process. You are in a safe space and all is well. To initiate the sacred clearing process, I'm going to call upon your higher self, your oversoul, your monadic soul, and your spirit team, as well as any guiding spirit animals, ancestors, galactic beings, or elementals who wish to offer their loving assistance and hold space during this transformative clearing. I ask your spirit team to envelope you in a protective energy of the golden ray of light, shielding you from all negativity lower vibrational energies and entities may this beautiful golden light create a barrier of pure love and light around you ensuring only that which is in alignment with your highest good may enter with divine guidance i request to begin by the clearing and harmonious realignment of all your chakras and meridians Letting any blockages or distortions within these energy centers be dissolved and replaced with pure, flowing energy, restoring balance and vitality to your being. Furthermore, I'm going to ask your spirit team to cleanse, remove, and mend any tears, rips, sludges, energetic parasites, hooks, AI devices, control mechanisms, negative attachments, negative entities, or damaged seals, vortexes, or portals within your auric field that may be impeding your journey towards wholeness and well-being. Any distorted energies lingering within your energetic and physical body systems are now going to be released and transmuted into divine light. May you be free from the weight of these burdens, allowing your true essence to shine forth in its brilliance. Lastly, I request the removal of any hidden or unknown imprints and elements that no longer serve your highest good. Let them be cleared, removed, and reprogrammed to resonate within the highest vibrational frequency of your soul's divine blueprint. If any upgrades are necessary for your spiritual evolution and growth, I'm going to ask your spirit team to initiate this process in grace and ease, guiding you towards greater alignment with your soul's purpose and highest potential. May this clearing be conducted with the utmost love, compassion, and divine wisdom, bringing you into greater alignment with your truth of who you are. And so it is. As we start this journey of clearing, our intention is to honor your soul's path. We're going to call upon your spirit team and the divine power within you and around you to remove anything that doesn't align with your true self. This includes any and all misaligned, discordant, dysfunctional, outdated, and negative vibrational frequencies related to rage that doesn't serve your highest good. We ask your spirit team to surround you with unconditional love and light, clearing away any darkness or heaviness. 
We're going to ask your spirit team to let go of any anger or rage that no longer serves you, allowing it to dissolve into the infinite love of the universe. We're going to ask your spirit team to reclaim your inner strength and connection to the cosmos, aligning you with your true essence. May this process unfold smoothly on all levels of your being for the greater good of everyone involved for the most benevolent outcome throughout creation and anti-time. And so it is. Let's begin. Spirit, what is the most impactful aspect on which we should focus our intention? Now, the first aspect I am guided to is the fragmentation chart. Now, when we experience severe pain and trauma, especially if it occurs repeatedly without the opportunity to heal, we may mentally and emotionally disconnect from ourselves and the world around us in search of relief. This disconnection can lead our mind, emotions, and spirit fragmenting into pieces. Consequently, our sense of self becomes fragile and disconnected. We may lose emotional balance, personal boundaries, and self-respect, rendering us vulnerable to being controlled by negative influences such as people, situations, and circumstances. So let's ask your spirit team to gather all fragmented aspects of yourself from all levels of your being throughout creation and anti-time. Let's ask your spirit team to energetically bring these energies into alignment by healing, alchemizing, upgrading, and restoring them according to your present frequency in the present moment's soul's blueprint. This is going to facilitate the smooth integration of these parts with the least amount of resistance. Take a deep breath in, hold, and release. All right, great. Now that we have this done, let's ask your spirit team to release any karmic vows, promises, oaths, agreements, limitations, negative ego tendencies, vices, addictions, attachments, ties, alliances, and allegiances that may be contributing to the energy of rage and any misalignments associated with rage. This is going to include any connections with both incarnated and disincarnated souls, ancestral or otherwise beings. By releasing these ties, this is going to help you to move forward and create more balance and a harmonious state within yourself and the relationships around you. So take a deep breath in, hold, and exhale. Good job. Moving on to the next chart, we'll explore the archetypal chart. Now remember, these archetypes that we find here are going to be either rooted or associated with the vibrational frequency of rage. So let's take a look and see what we get here. Now the first archetype I'm encountering is the achiever archetype. And then immediately I'm being guided to the rule keeper archetype. Now I'll briefly explain the shadow aspects of these two archetypes and then we'll have your spirit team work on them. The achiever can be someone who focuses on personal growth, business success, and maybe even winning. Um, I've seen this archetype use force and coercion to achieve their goals, um, to measure their success. Sometimes what they do is they prioritize their own goals over other people's goals. And this can be something that, you know, can create a lot of ego or a lot of self-centeredness when it comes to the archetype of the achiever. Now, the rule keeper is someone that may focus on creating and enforcing rules. Um, they could be very rigid by maintaining certain boundaries. And sometimes if you go out of those boundaries, it could get really aggressive or it could create like a very black and white type of energy within the relationship. And what, you know, what is happening here with the rule keeper is that they're really just seeking a sense of safety and security and stability. And again, with these two archetypes, it could be that, you know, they learned these behaviors um, or there was a lack of these energies within their upbringing so 
however these two archetypes are coming in they're coming in with the energy of being attached to rage and so there may be a lot of distortions uh, that need to in some way be removed upgraded alchemized transmuted so let's ask your spirit team to review these archetypal imprints and address any misalignments bringing them back into your soul's highest vibrational frequency and according to your soul's divine blueprint so take a deep breath in hold and exhale great okay let's explore the body systems chart now here we're gonna specifically go to the hormonal and chemical systems chart when we experience rage, our body's sympathetic nervous system starts to act up and we start to release hormones like cortisol. Now, I'm going to have your spirit team show me here what hormonal and maybe chemicals that we experience with rage may be out of misalignment here. So let's take a look. We did see cortisol come in. Looks like vasopressin is coming in. We have imbalances with the thyroid hormones such as TSH, T3, and T4. Serotonin is coming in. Estrogen. Progesterone is coming in. All right, so let's ask your spirit team to address these findings and any other potential issues within your hormonal and chemical, energetic, and physical bodies, tracing back to the origin of these imbalances and rectifying them to align with your soul's highest vibrational blueprint. Now, if there's any associated imbalances, let's have your spirit team address those as well. So take a deep breath in, hold, and release. Moving on to the next chart, this is called the Hidden and Honesty chart. Now, this may be specific to some of you and less so for others, so take it as it resonates. It could relate to past or future lifetimes you've experienced. So let's take a look. We're going to first be addressing lies, deception, and dishonesty, whether they're unconscious, intentional, unintentional, whether they hurt you or it may have hurt others. We're going to ask your spirit team to clear any energies associated with these, including any energetic links to rage. Next, we're addressing soulmates who are or were romantic partners. We're going to ask your spirit team to clear anything related to rage, anger, and resentment within these relationships, intentional or unintentional. We'll ask your spirit team to clear any negative thoughts and trapped emotions associated with these lifetimes that are directly associated to the energetic frequency of rage. Additionally, I'm going to have your spirit team address any generational ancestral issues rooted in rage or blocked due to rage. So let's take a look and see if there's anything else here. Nope, that's a wrap up for this specific chart. So let's go to the next chart. The next chart we're going to explore is the primordial imprints of separation. Now, as a collective, we carry deep rooted patterns of separation that impact human consciousness and it affects how we think and feel as a collective. Now, it starts with shock trauma and devastation leading to a lack of trust in ourselves others and spiritual guidance this can trigger feelings of betrayal abandonment fear unworthiness shame guilt and entrapment over time these emotions start to solidify into these en energetic realms um, and and what happens with these energetic realms is they start to create lower vibrational densities and so this is what's called maybe like what people would refer to as hell or, or hellish experiences. Now, some souls have come on this earth being tasked with transcending these lower vibrational energies. And so that way we can start to move towards the unity consciousness. And, you know, some of these beautiful souls are considered twin flames. Some of them are star seeds. Some of them are indigo children. 
some of them are called the wise ones or the chosen ones whatever the labels are they all have these beautiful missions so this journey is going to involve transforming these fear-based emotions to elevate our consciousness as a whole so we're going to address parallel lives and timelines where these similar patterns existed in your soul's journey we're going to ask your spirit team to release any energetic ties to these lower vibrations and clear any distortions all the way down to the root. Additionally, I'm going to have your spirit team address the lack of trust that fuels anger and frustration, as well as feelings of unworthiness, shame, guilt, injustice, and cosmic rage. These patterns of separation provide a very fertile ground for rage, both individually and collectively. So by healing and expanding our consciousness, we can transform rage into a more positive energy or energies. So take a deep breath in, hold, and release. Great job. Okay. I'm being guided to have us focus on the spirit of patience, which acts as an antidote to anger and rage. Um, it's really crucial for our spirit growth and our maturity so that we start to develop this patience, which is going to help us expand our consciousness and overcome a lot of our limitations. It definitely does play with the ego. I do have to say I've seen patients come in in a lot of um, ego deaths, and it's really interesting to see the ego interact with patients. Um, it pushes us beyond our comfort zone it leads to transformation and growth so patience is very nurturing to uh, really start to feel this energy of empathy compassion and forgiveness towards others it also allows us to face these life challenges without feeling so negative towards them it starts to strengthen our connection to the divine as well so without patience, we may fall into this very selfish desire and emotional outburst. So let's ask your spirit team to assist you in any necessary upgrades to cultivate patience within your beautiful energy frequency, according to your soul's divine blueprint. Okay. I am being shown to wrap it up, but there is one last chart I am being guided to, and it looks like it's the food chart. And so let's take a look and see what spirit is guiding me to research here. All right, I am being shown the Akchai Berry, and it looks like spirit wants you to start to maybe incorporate this into your diet if you have no allergic reactions to berries here. Now, this berry is packed with antioxidants, which can lower your stress and inflammation in your brain, making it healthier. To get the benefits, you just need to add Akchai berry in its natural form by taking either tablets or capsules um, or just eating Akchai berry itself. Now, if you're asking if you can use diffusers or essential oils, it's just not going to give you the same results. It looks like Spare Team wants you to incorporate this as part of your diet so that you can start to really bring in more healthier brain functioning here. All right, and it looks like our session is drawing to a close. So I'd like to take a moment to wrap things up. I'm gonna ask your beautiful spirit team to surround you with a comforting white light and a protective purple flame, ensuring your ongoing well-being beyond our time here together. Now remember to make sure you drink lots of water and hydrate. Make sure that you are allowing your body to absorb the water, to retain the water, because it's going to be important for your ascension symptoms. So make sure you are just feeling and experiencing the sensation of understanding why water is so important. I know a lot of people don't like water, but just understand water is something that is alchemically very powerful. And if you'd like to know more about water, you could definitely do your own research. Now to complement the work here that we did together, consider exploring other healing modalities. There are many tools available to support your journey. 
So don't hesitate to try different approaches and find what resonates best for you. It's important to recognize that healing is a gradual process and it's unique to each person. So take time to explore your beautiful inner self and embrace any shadows that may arise along the way. I'm going to thank each and every one of you guys for being part of my session, being part of my tribe. Your presence has truly been appreciated and so honored. I'd love to hear your thoughts and feedback in the comments below. And I'm looking forward to our next connection together. So until then, take care and be well.